Hi dear friends, Assalamu alaikum. This is MD Ali Asghar. Welcome to new another first video of Planner Automation Limited. Today I want to discuss about the conveyor belt. Conveyor belt is very important application in, in any kinds of factory, which you will see that. It's very much important for any kinds of big family factory. There are always uh, applicants of this program here. The conveyor belt is a uh, uh, many mode. Um, production line that are uses uh, for much more production of uh, their industry here so friends um, no more let, let's start the video first I want to describe what will you have in this video uh, this is um, the topics of our video this is the uh, analysis of this uh, of program or control goals and programming of um, the logo PLC how is it applied in logo PLC uh, systematic this is a very uh, shortly I dis described here so uh, this is a dependent on your factory so large or high or large factory that is the application will be large factory but uh, I am uh, I uh, described in here a bit shortly um, of any kinds of uh, control goals and how is it processing here so friends this is um, the next topics is um, uh, conveyor system what is a conveyor system a conveyor belt um, is um, the carrying medium of a belt can be your system or open hand to attempt uh, to belt can, can be your, uh, a belt can be your system is one of many types of conveyor systems a belt um, uh, systems uh, uh, can be your systems consist of uh, two or more um, uh, fully uh, um, sometimes uh, referred to as a drums uh, um, uh, with uh, with an with an of many types of conveyor systems uh, um, a, um, a handleless loop of carrying medium on the control belt that um, rotates about them carrying medium one or both of pulleys are the um, power right moving belt and the belt chain here and the material on the belt forward the forward pulley is called the drive pulley while the unforward pulley is called the idler pulley but there are two main industrial classes of belt conveyors uh, the those general materials handling such as those moving boxes uh, along inside a factory and bulk materials uh, handling such as those and to transport large um, volumes uh, resources and agriculture materials uh, such as uh, um, grain, salt, coal, ore, sand, overburden and more. This is the systematic and um, for any kind of um, convertible system or convertible here. The many many kinds of control belt in this here uh, many kinds of course in sim, uh, simultaneously you are passing stuff so for more uh, production for more production line here so see, this is a very easy to convey that's why it uh, is uh, easy to use of our any kinds of factory uh, for carrying of our products uh, I hope you guys understand what is the system of um, uh, Convert belts is offer any kinds of our production line that is much more needed uh, for this convert system or convert belts here. So, friends, uh, let's go to the programming uh, category here. This is the programming I write here switch one, push, Q1, and Q2 on. Q1 that means uh, motor, that is the main uh, belt is um, covering the products, um, and Q2 is uh, solenoid bulb, this is the gate. Gate uh, uh, passing for them uh, your products or stock from the uh, passing for your products. So, friends, and um, high and I3 sense first time I uh, switch one pull that means the uh, high uh, process of your uh, processing of your start of your program or belt. Then uh, switch Q1 and Q2 that means uh, uh, motor is running with the solenoid bulb. Solenoid bulb open from the product is uh, uh, coming here, coming into the main uh, belt or control belt. And I3 sense, I3 sense that means uh, this I3 sense when 10 count, 10 count that means um, uh, uh, a number of uh, specific 10 um, products uh, they are counting after uh, Q2 off, Q2 that means solenoid bulb is off here. This is the extra uh, the need is in here. This is after, after passing scene here, uh, when uh, 10 is counting here, after 10 is counting uh, of your uh, control bulb, after then. Q2 will be off. That means solenoid bulb is off. I3 and um, um, since to to the solenoid bulb, this all will be off. I have for three second Q Q3 on. Q3 is a number three number belt that is to convey uh, the uh, products line box. This products um, uh, this box is a con um, contain these products. So friends, um, after two seconds Q3 will be off. Um, uh, this uh, uh, two second into the all products is 
coming into the box and you will see uh, this box is full that means uh, in, into the three seconds um, uh, after um, after all, um, this box will be off the field of full field uh, do second q3 off then q2 on i and q3 off um, that means this um, uh, this belt is of q up it's um, three seconds uh, this box is will be in here and um, uh, into the three seconds uh, it's all goes in into here and it's processes of and completed and process it this year now um, uh, into the three seconds uh, it's um, dependent on your factory uh, in your factory of your any kind so friends um, after three seconds um, q3 q on this uh, into the three seconds um, and all products is come into this box and it will be passed uh, this will after three seconds uh, q, um, uh, q2 uh, q3 will be off the um, this case here is the other processes of your products and, and into this process of your process here and after 2 seconds Q3 will be off after only 5 seconds here so this is the very large you know, times for your production line um, coming uh, products into of your box and, and this is going on from of your radio of products here or uh, radio of, of your box here so after 2 seconds Q3 will be off and again Q2 on Q2 on means uh, your solenoid bulb is on when solenoid bulb is on gate is on that means your uh, product is upcoming into this main belt or as we started the sense so friends this is the main uh, processing system of uh, your control belt uh, uh, this uh, processing is uh, your apply of your any kinds of um, production line any kinds of processing process of our factory so friends um, let's go to the main topics of our this video tutorial uh, this is the programming of uh, logo plc this is the destinations of this video so friends, uh, let's go to the uh, logo PLC. You know that's uh, when you all see of the previous video that what um, I was described. I was um, I was described uh, you know in here. It's very um, uh, applicable uh, structure uh, and very easy to see of your any kinds of uh, key processes here. So that's why I initially start with this uh, logo structure component. Uh, by the help of you guys, you should be understand and uh, you easily understand uh, for this software. No more late. This is the uh, let's start the programming instructions of um, control belt. Uh, first, I want to write shoot one push shoot one push. That means I start from the programming P1 P1 P2 P1 P2 on. Okay. I three cents. Ten count. Q two will be off. Q two off. After three seconds. Three second late. Q. Two the second let two second let Q three off and two before Q two on. So friends, this is the program. The main program of uh, this is very short and uh, shortly I will um, I describe here for um, quick uh, programming or for, for, for quick the video here. I hope um, it's a dependent, um, it is simultaneously dependent of your uh, big program also here. So, friends, uh, this is the processing initial processing here. Uh, I1, this is I1, this is start. Uh, Zero uh, main belt here. Start process is uh, from this here, and this is the brake counter for emergency start. This is the emergency start button. Emergency start button. It's not delayed. Emergency start. 
watching this step part. So friends, uh, next is uh, I'm going to take here the key one, and this is the key one matching point here, and it's also key two because switch one push key one and key two not really here. Not any kinds of uh, programmable memory used in here. So friends, I want to connect it for this each and other latching point here so friends list uh, is the i3 i3 for sensor this is the main sensor of um, this belt here uh, this is the up down counter on threshold is 10 here and off threshold will be 10 here you are blocked off your program so friends and this is the mac contact for of the counter mac contact or break contact you will have in up of your auxiliary contract and then go to the m1 this is the your big facility on your wall break contact uses of uh, this m1 in here this is because your 10 is fixed this is very dangerous and when you are not uses in here after 10 is you will be counting here this is the very um, lossable conditions for your factory so that's why this is the safety this break contact is safety for your product production line and then m1 make contact for in here m1 and then go to the three second delay so this is a timer here this is a three seconds five threshold and the mac contact for timer after this is a counter counter after the counter uh, timer is start the t002 this is the uh, system of this software and um, on the q3 this is a three number belt And it's also the pressure processing of pressure here. And then make contact of uh, Q3 and then timer. This timer is very important after two seconds is needed. Is, um, and timer number three is also worked for the reset of our this counter so friends this is the most important i hope you guys are understanding of this video this uh, first is the reset i want to reset of this uh, by this uh, timer my contact and this is the sensing the process and it's connected to the counting so it is overlapping here so first you uh, click to, to the cursor line and then this is the job five second here and it's a easily what replaces very easily for your flexible contract here and then a make contact for a counter and this connected to the m1 m1 is going to the t2 and uh, then again t2 is connected to q3 q3 is going to this one and this will be t3 and this is the processing is a contract steps now and then so friends um, uh, this is the programming of uh, programming of control belt uh, first is a uh, when uh, it's, it's a 10 count uh, to start to say q2 will be off here that's why the break contact used in here so friends i hope you guys understand it um, switch one push q1 and q2 on q1 and q2 on uh, i3 sense when 10 count 10 count q3 q2 will be off this q2 will be off by counter break contact okay that's why this break contact is uses in here uh, the other three seconds later q3 on uh, three second late q3 on and after two seconds q3 will be off because uh, this uh, make contact in here this is senses to this um, reset in here 
find this is reset it's all is over the R that means Q3 will be R so friends this is the simple program for convert world uh, let's go to the simulation mm, uh, first you we are going to go to the moment when we brought a Mac as you should see if uh, this Mac or Mac both is moment when we got a Mac switch on push Q1 and Q2 on you will see of this uh, program you see Q1 and Q2 on on i3 sense i3 sense uh, and one is counting two three four uh, five six seven eight nine still this is not changing okay so friends when 10 will be a uh, 10 counting that the 10 count q2 will be off and 10 count q2 will be off and uh, after three second q3 on after two second q3 off again q2 on this is the process of your belt and uh, new work application software and any kinds of programming scene I hope you guys understand this is the uh, processing systems of um, uh, depending on your programming so okay so friends this is push q1 and q2 on uh, initially q1 and q2 one here and um, at uh, i3 sense q10 product is uh, going away q2 will be off and then q3 after three second q3 will be off this is the processing in here find whole of your box that time so q3 will be off again q2 q2 on that means your product is upcoming into this new line so friends this is the processing system of your control box i hope you guys understand if you like of this video please uh, subscribe the channel and um, click the bell icon this process so will never miss another update so friends for the next video tutorial till then bye